Hey guys, this is Garys, and welcome to another game video back here in the Outer Worlds. We, I know I've said in a previous episode we are going to Edgewater to figure out something, but luckily, <laughs> um, I'm this is going to be sound terrible, but I'm just being kind of sarcastic a bit. I have a friend that also plays a game, and he does not get that I do not want spoilers, so he mentioned something, two things to me. That I need to talk to somebody in this town to get Zoe back. And that you can give this your, or your companion uh, weapons same as you did in Fallout. So I did not uh, cut him out after that. So I didn't know. He didn't explain at least to me how to do that. So let's figure that out quickly. So journal codex, companions, companions, abilities. Okay, so abilities C and V. Okay, V is not unlocked. C is, I don't know yet. Uh, you can command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you are targeting. Okay, fine. Companion down, companion movement commands Z, perks. Your companion has improved every five levels. Your companion gains a new perk point to spend and unlock a new tier of perks to choose from. Oh, okay, so we can choose which perks our companion goes nice skills companion skills add to your skill checklist that we know focus fire x companions to attack okay we know that okay symbols damage types okay we know that buffs we know that that's one so we saw that is so many there's map and compass we know that then Weapons also has uh, special weapons, science weapons. Okay, you mentioned something about science weapons where the there's a planet or something behind the icon or something like that. So I'm not sure which one that is. TNL. Oh, there's a small background. Oh. See A and B, adamant ballistic spacer's choice. Okay, it's T and L. So maybe that's a science part. Jock, jock, and you can give your companion. Yeah, huh? Perception. I didn't mention your dad a lot, but never your mother. Um, Thomas seemed very fond of you. Really don't want to talk to you about that. Okay, I don't know how to give weapons it. Maybe we should still unlock it. Let's see what That's she says about it. of how I never met her. Um, dead. Let's ask her. She that. was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Hmm. So we need perception. That's inhuman. Uh. Well, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Okay. Um, I think let's talk to this guy again. He was a friend, so maybe we should not completely skip the whole um, route Something conversation. I can help you with? I told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Oh, you know what? I don't think we did the conversation. We only checked what he sold and we never talked to him about her. Oh, wow. Zoe and I were going to watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions 
the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Mm, why is she acting strange before the spirit? What was that about surprising her? Um, let's find out this thing. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Okay, we already read the pages, so that's okay. The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was going to surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Not much of a chance, no. Mind if I ask why you're interested? Okay. Yeah, see, I didn't complete the <laughs> conversation, so maybe that's... Zoe's really living with marauders? Yeah, that sounds like the sort of sideways, brat-brained plan Zoe'd come up with. Yeah, it could be you're telling the truth. Or maybe you're trying to wheedle me into relinquishing my only copy of The Masked Marketeer. It's a collector's edition, after all. Um, not lie. Let's not lie. Let's do persuade. Yeah, you're probably right. A true fan would have displayed a gleam in their eye upon hearing the words, Collector's Edition. Here you go. Latest copy of The Masked Marketeer. Tell Zoe we're all waiting on her. Okay, so <laughs> let's go see if we can get Zoe this time. Okay. Oh, we can't fast travel there. That sucks. Primal nest, man. Let's run. At least we can fast travel back. Because we don't have a special thing. Oh, and also, uh, my dear old friend told me that the F. You use all these things. Oh, uh, it actually says it right here. Adreno and mock apple. So Adreno and mock apple. So yields 25 health over 2 seconds. This 200 natural health regenerates. Last 2 minutes. <laughs> so you everything you put in here, if you consume this, it consumes one of each of these items so we shouldn't actually have thrown away so much of the things I'm not thrown away sold it but anyway doesn't matter it's done we've learned well not learned we've been taught <laughs> um, but yeah let's go see if we can get Joey back at least now we know I could have sworn we did the um, all the conversation options. Must have been my imagination. Ooh, there's a cave thing there. Maybe we might just go explore that a bit. I wouldn't do for a Wentzworth. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going in. So you tracked me down just to gab about the mass market here? I am impressed. Mm. I see what's going on here. I'm being bribed. Well, it's working. I can't say no to my favorite cereal. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Yay. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me. So I've got that to look forward to. Okay, so we've done that at least. So let's go back. Let's fast travel this time. Okay, at least loading is quick. What is it? We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. <laughs> well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. 
least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Yay! Let me know if I can do something for you. Companion perks. You see now it comes. Your companion has leveled up and can be got granted a new perk. Go to a companion page in your ledger and select the perk button to see the level perks. Yeah. My good old friend was just a little bit too hurry. <laughs> see, here's Parvati. Anyway, okay, so we have 10 skills again. So, ranged, obviously, and let's put two, three of the bad, one defense, or not on defense, not on dialogue, and stealth, and tick. And one leadership, why not? Yes, please. Except combat dialogue ability. Abilities. You have unlocked the dialogue combat skill. When attacking a correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Again, what's the correct? Cower. Humans have 20% to cower in fear for 3 seconds the first time you hit them. Okay, so we can switch to different targets while doing that. Okay. Um, skills, journal, codex. It will probably be under companions. Companion perks. We've read that actually, so let's just. Go to Parvati. The companion ledger. The companion ledger shows you everything you need to know about your companion. <coughs> Excuse me. Companions. To change your companion's gear, right, right, companions, you can see their skills, stats, status, effects, and gear. To change your companion's gear, first select an item you want to swap out, then choose a compatible item compatible item to replace it with. You can also change how they behave in combat by selecting their preferred weapon, follow distance, and aggressiveness. Cool. Okay, she has the hammer... I think this is a better one. 22. Let's give her a plasma rifle. Why not? Armor. She has 7 armor. Tech skills 5. Tech skills 5 already. This armor is just better. Light, medium. Ah, eh, why not? That will give her more armor. Lockpick, no, we need the lockpick. Okay, this one. Base health, threat generated. Increase the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them more likely to attack this companion. Hmm, maybe not. Stinky. Decrease the amount of threat this companion generates when attacking enemies, making them less likely to attack this companion. Maybe that one is. Increase your, your engineering skill when Parvati is in the party. Hmm. Either this one or this one. Engineering. Uh, let's go with this one. Back. Let's apply them first. Thank you. And in this one, level. Behavior distance, medium, weapons, mixed. We want to focus more on range, please. Mode. Defensive. Uh, name duration. Okay. One of your weapon or armor items is broken and at minimum effectiveness. You should find a workbench and repair it. Let's go repair it. 3000 XP. Wow, nice. So after this, we can go. Item repair. Keep your company gear in tip top shape is expected and something you're carrying needs repair. Okay, well, what's broken? 
condition 100% I don't see what's repairable what's broken condition 100 condition 100 condition 100 condition nothing is broken I don't get this. See, this one is quite low. Condition 100, 88, 195, 80, 200. I don't know what's going on here. Never mind. So let's go to. Geothermal plant. No, we first wanted to go check out Edge Water. See what the hell is going on. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Okay, the first thing of a bat that's bugging me about edge water is all the um, propaganda that they're spilling out, spewing out. I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Why not? Because I'm sick. You don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. Figured it was obvious. I got sick. Couldn't get better on my own. Got moved here for everyone's sake. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. First, I started feeling real low. Couldn't sleep. Couldn't wake up on time. Started showing up late to my post. Morale was flagging. I was showing doubt. <laughs> Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. Um. I really wish you wouldn't say those sorts of things. I told you once already. People could be listening. I'm feeling a touch faint. You've got Adrena time? How? No, I don't want to know. Could be you stole it. Could be you're trying to test me. See if I'm going to violate company policy. I'm feeling a touch faint. If... Well, um... If a company don't even let the people take medicine, I think I'm... I've made up my mind. I don't want any trouble. Fine. You won't get my dream time. Hello. <coughs> At least I paid my gravesite. Where are we headed? And that's the other thing. You don't want me breathing on you. Sick days come out of my pay. <laughs> yeah, this whole sick leave thing and all that. Four weeks company really sounds like a real good guy. Okay, I th don't think we made up our minds. I think so. Let's just go to Vicar. We can maybe get a few bucks. There's something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. We don't get a lot of visitors. Move along. Let's see if we can see anything about being clean in here. Looks dirty to me. Hmm? Work fortifies the spirit. Oh, interesting. So let's see if anybody else says anything. Ok, 
saying there was not stealing at least our place in the universe is fixed any progress on that matter we discussed please get it a religious text deemed heretical by the OSI as an unsafe object at large though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book because I'm also a collector mm -hmm. of books rare things in this colony appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here I've never seen you before and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer half the time it's wrong but a new worker without paperwork unheard of also you lack the distinctive worker gaze usually either a deadening behind the eyes or in some rare cases a wild-eyed frenzy like a trapped animal pretty okay. universal here except for Ms. Holcomb who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me isn't that right it's just there's more to it all than numbers sorry Uh, maybe it's a bit because you're sort of miss uh, let's go for I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town sounds like you're terrible at your job yeah no I am not though there is something to your accusation it is wrong for me to succumb to distress I must double my efforts to elevate my flock these are good, hard-working people here. Okay, let's give them a book. At least we'll get our... Wonderful! This is fantastic! Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French! Wow. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is! French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. Well, uh, yes. But I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. The answer is 43. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. Hmm. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. For this has to be some kind of cosmic retribution, plague ridden backward. What happened to all your crap about leading your flock? Please, those dolts? Hmm. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aether Wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Um, this guy seems like a jerk. So let's be a jerk. Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back, not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Uh, exactly. I think you fit for I'm yourself. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Part of Vicar training <laughs> sounds good. No, not sure I'm in the market for hacking, brawling my Vicar. Maybe some other time. Nope, I'm leaving him. I don't want to jerk on my company. Come, Lucille. I'm gonna call you Lucille. It's easier <laughs> to pronounce than what? Parvati. Parvati. What's in here? Can I go in here? I don't care. I wanna go in. Not, nothing in here. Oh well. Okay. Disease ran down. The corporation doesn't want the people to take sick leave. They don't even want the people to take medicine from people, so uh, I don't think I like this town. So, we're siding with the botanical people. What the hell is that?
Okay, but first I want to go talk to that guy about the vicar. I want to see if he maybe can convince the vicar. We haven't checked this place out properly. Let's see. this oh no we don't want to steal yet oh there's the volume the one volume that we need Thomas for or not need Thomas for need for Thomas I forgot about those ones maybe we can find the other one as well let's see quick um, Shame, look at the poor guys. Don't see it. What does this do? Nah, thank you. I don't want a big look. Or lock, big, not big look. I just want to see if we can find that. Oh, hello. Let's go. Miss Parvati. can go through that door still but I think we'll come back afterwards my offer remains standing should you reconsider go ahead look around your town lately what makes you think I can convince the third to come back is a pretty fix on bringing Adelaide back to town we need what about this plague can we not talking about unpleasant things always gets my bile up you must have some kind of treatment and how long this plague been happening. That I cannot say. There was no moment when the plagues began. Disease always lurks on the fringes of society, waiting to infect the idle and the lethargic. But in the last ten years, the plagues have become progressively worse and increasingly frequent. Medical 11. Things have been going badly for you for these last few years. You should have to. Corporate doesn't like us using the word should. It encourages the imagination. <laughs> I believe plague is a test. It is a test of our loyalty and our fortitude. And it is one we will see through to the end. Show up to work. Put in your hours, wear a smile. Problems of the body come from problems of the spirit. Yeah, Work improves no. the spirit and fortifies the body. Working through hardship is a sign of loyalty and strength. I didn't get to where I am now by lying on my sickbed whenever I came down with a case of the Callenger. Medicine is a rare and precious commodity. If you demonstrate you have earned the right to be treated, you will be treated. If I had enough medicine to treat everyone who fell sick, I would, but I don't. I can't save everyone. So I have to choose. Mm. Yes, it is. And it's necessary. Okay, Spacer's thank you. Spacer's choice is a family. Yeah, I don't care about your family anymore. Cheers. See you. Half past never. Come, Lucille. Let's go. Let's go save the botanical gardens. Okay, let's just quickly run through town. I don't know if we'll be able to come back. We need to see if we can find... 
let's see side quest frightened engineer find three volumes set active please so one is behind us oh no it's not behind us oh it's in a community center okay easy let's quickly go pick that up and I think then we'll be done with this episode we have Weren't we in there before we were, right? Okay, we've completely missed it. And we missed that. What else did we miss? Hello, bye. Okay, but the other one is also somewhere around here. Find the three volumes. might be that the other one is back here somewhere nope guess not adreno slice bread oh, light ammo um i don't know where we be able to get the third manual but at least we got two so let's go give that to Thomas and let's see it's not showing um, you would find the first volume of Emerald Community Center found a second volume in the Edgewater Cannery that's where you find it Provati mentioned their father reading a volume Engineering win. Oh, let's ask Pravati. Where's Pravati? Lucille! Oh, Lucille! Here you come. Okay. Something you need? You mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? There was a, a kind of a thing with a vending machine when I was 12. Okay, um, before we started in this episode, I was at the community or at Edgewater, and when we entered the store, she weren't allowed in or something. So, this is where this comes from. Not intentionally. I've always been good with my hands, right? So, I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So, I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. It's not funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? Oh, sure. Uh, sure thing. No, I want to talk to you about... Something you need? Thomas. He's just interested in fixing stuff. He always used to follow me around, asking me to explain what I was doing. Like a puppy, kinda. <laughs> I'm just glad he's alive. That he's okay. I mean, 
when Mr. Thompson said he was fired, we all expected the worst. If he wants to learn about engineering, we should help him get those data pads he wants. I'd like to do that for him. Okay, so we see. Uh, other one. Yeah, huh? Okay, so let's go there. Maybe she will give the other one. This, uh, where's Thompson? Thomas Thompson. Any luck finding one of those manuals? No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum potatoes, a primer. <laughs> I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Ain't that just ironical? If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beaten heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. Oh, 300. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. Okay, Lucille, you should have given us something favor. you need. Okay, well, I don't know where we'll get the third volume. Wow, and when, but... Oh, bit cartridge, 500. Oh, wow, that's a lot of bit... Bit and bits. Wait a minute, can't we access our inventory? Huh, interesting. Oh, wow, we share inventories. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh well, doesn't matter. In any case, guys, I think we made up our mind. We're going to side, to side with the botanical garden, with the deserters. They're much more friendly. They don't push propaganda down your throats. And they're friendly, and they help sick people. I don't know why the company doesn't. I mean, healthier people is healthier workers. Why? Right? <laughs> Anywho, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We've got a few data pads for Thompson, Thomas, Thomas, sorry, Thomas, two of the data pads, and we decided, or we got a definite answer on our decision, we gave Vicar the book that he wanted, and we found out he was a real jerk, actually, so we're going to leave him in the dust, or without power, we'll see if he comes scurrying to this side at the end but in any case that's it for this episode guys i hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it please give me a like if you did and if you haven't done so already please remember to subscribe to my channel it helps me out tremendously and afterwards hit that bell icon then youtube will let you know once i uploaded new episodes but thanks for joining me guys we'll see you guys in the next one cheers